Hey guys, welcome back to Reviews and Reels. I'm Sassy Wolf, and today we're inside the Reynolds Kaiga. So basically, this car dropped last year, September in 2021, on the 8th, if I'm not mistaken. So this car comes in three different models. There's the Life, Zen, and Intense. So our test unit is currently the Reynolds Kaiga 1.0 turbocharged Intense. So before we get into the review, I just want to say something, right? So there are three competitors of the Renault Kaiga. There's the Toyota Urban Cruiser, Nissan Magnite, and the Hyundai Venue, which are approximately same price. And they are also compact SUVs. So let's get into the review. So, quick facts about the car. This car is a 1.0 turbocharged engine, comes with three cylinders, 5-speed manual, well this model is a 5-speed manual, it has, a, it's a front wheel drive and it has 74 kilowatts of power, 169 newton meters of torque. So looking at the stats, you might not think that this car is quick, but trust me, it's a turbocharged engine, which means it's quick, once you put your foot down on the accelerator, it accelerates and the turbo kicks in like you it makes sure you make sure like even the car makes sure Uguti, yay so this car has three driving modes right it has echo sports and normal so what i like about the dashboard right it's a digital dashboard so when you go to echo the, the dashboard turns green because echo you get me and when you go to sport it turns red because it's sport and normal is blue because the car is also blue ha <laughs> i'm kidding but anyways yeah the color of the of the car is caspian blue that's my test unit it's been my test unit for the past week and i should say i'm really enjoying it so heading into the interior interior very it feels very premium it feels like you you're in like a uh, top of the range SUV, but this is a compact SUV. It's priced from 269,900. This is the Renault Kyger 1.0 turbocharged manual transmission. Intense is the intense, yeah. So, Renault Kyger Intense 1.0 turbo, yeah. So, the speakers it has six speakers two in the front and four at the back, but like. The, the two extra ones are like small right let's listen to the sound system Ooh. so yeah that is the sound system Quality sound system, I'm in love with it. Um, it's adjustable on the infotainment system. So heading into the infotainment system, it's an eight inch touch screen. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth. So Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also connected wirelessly via Bluetooth. So yes, that's, that's the infotainment system. Let's talk about the air conditioning, automatic. Automatic liquid this quickly switch on a few. So it's yeah you can, now you can hear the car is shaky. So it's automatic um air conditioning and Reynolds said it's a um, clean clean air. It says clean air here by the by the side. It's also air conditioning for the race seats, it's here, right here. So yes, that is that digital dashboard fuel consumption. So let me quickly tell you about my time with the Renault Kaiga. I have traveled 716.9 kilometers. I've traveled, yeah, 716, let's say 717 kilometers. And I've, aver I've been average averaging 15.0 kilometers per liter, which is quite bad, I must say. Um, I, I thought it would be really, but I blame myself because the car was mostly on sport because I am I am a speed fanatic but you know I always try to keep below the speed average on the on the road <laughs> you get me 
so that's that um digital so the steering wheel has controls on the left side and on the right side so on the left side it's for the infotainment system which is the volume source mode and um calling via bluetooth or ending a call that is on the left hand side and on the right hand side is where you control your dashboard you can control the the dimming the the brightness of the dashboard you can control what you see are you are you checking for your fuel consumption are you checking how many kilometers are left are you checking your fuel history are you checking your fuel economy you know all those sort of things so i should say man this this car is is, is, is really wonderful um as i said okay so by the doors is this stitching i don't know it's stitching what's paneling it's really it's really cool really cool and makes the car look feel premium as well and what i like about the car at night oh my gosh there's a uh, lighting interior lighting but it's manual so you press a button here next to the the driving modes there's a button it switches on by the passenger seat driver's seat and under here by the 12 volt socket and it also has usb charging and yeah the indicators and whatnot Five speed, I did say. So here, there's a mini mini armrest and storage space here, which is plenty of storage space. It is so huge, so huge, so huge. And the key for you to start the car, the key should be inside this um, storage center. And here's the key if you don't know how the key looks like. So here's for locking, unlocking, and this is this one, the one with the sun. Here is for you when you're outside the car, you just hold it and then the interior lighting switches on for like 20 seconds and it switches off. And then for the boot. So let's talk about this key. This key, when it's in your pocket and you close to the car, it automatically unlocks. And when you're like a few meters away, like maybe two meters away from the car, it switches off, it, it locks itself, which is really, I think, I think it's a good thing and also when it's like crime that's okay that could also be a bad thing you get me but the good thing is that for the car to start the key needs to be inside so there's no way that somebody can steal your car without having this key people say it looks like a remote and i <laughs> i mean i guess i guess so let's talk about the the seats i like how the stitching is i like how comfortable these seats are the stitching kind of makes the car feel sporty yeah so yeah i like i like i like the stitching and i like the room the spaciousness at the back there's a lot of room there's another headroom there's enough knee room for passengers in the back seat and the seats are 60 folding 60 40 sorry folding they split so if you put two seats down one is left and then you get access to the boot so you can put one seat down and then have access to the boot while two seats are up so let's say you have um a lot of groceries or something that needs to slide through the only disadvantage is that they can't slide through because from the boot is like a, a big pillar of like the, the back seat which is there so things can't literally slide you just have to make it go up so that's kind of a disadvantage for some consumers and stuff so uh, things that I like about the car things that I don't like about the car Right. Oh, no, I did not mention the boot space. The boot space is 405 liters of space Which is good because it's a compact SUV, you know, can't expect something bigger than that But I'm not sure about the competitors of like the the Nissan Magnite I'm not sure about the Hyundai Venue and I'm not sure about the Urban Cruiser, but for the Renault Kyger, I feel I feel confident. I feel confident. Also, with a price of two hundred and sixty-nine thousand nine hundred, that is actually good because it's the intense, and it's a turbocharged engine. It's a one liter. I mean, this is wow, man. I think it's worth its money. So, uh, people have been asking me how how much this car costs per month at Reynold. I think it's no. I know it. It's two point five per month. 2.5 per month and it comes with warranty i'll put that down in the description below so let's go into the depth depth of the review now 
things that I like and things that I don't like, right? So what I like about the car, number one, is the daytime running LED headlights. I love how the car looks from the front. I love those color. Those color is popping. I love how popping the color is. It's, oh my gosh. When you're driving and you just look to your right, everybody is looking at you because of the color. And it's, I, I, I should say it's a new car. So yeah, that's the things that I like. Um, the headlights. I like the headlights, um, very beautiful, the front grille, very beautiful. I also love the spaciousness in the car. You feel like you in some other big car, but it's a compact SUV. Like that's, I, I can't emphasize that a lot, but it, I, I, I love the car. So the second thing that I like about the car is the infotainment system and the interior lighting. It makes the car really, really premium, especially at night. You would switch it on and you'd feel like, okay, I'm inside a Mercedes. Even though it's not a Mercedes and you know it's a Renault, but you feel like you're inside a Mercedes because of the interior lighting. I, I love what it did for that, what Renault did with that. The storage space in here as well. I love that. I love that. Also by the doors, you can carry water bottles, two water bottles in each door, each door, each door. I love how fuel efficient the car is as well. So what I don't like about this car is that okay, I won't lie. I don't. I I don't. I don't have anything that. I, okay, no road noise. Yeah, that is the only thing that I don't like about this car is that when you're on the road, you can literally hear the road. So in order not to hear the road, you have to take the volume higher. So now that would actually disadvantage you because now if you take the volume higher you won't hear other commuters on the road you know with horns and etc etc and then what i have to say as well about the storage space is that this car has a uh, two glove box compartment it has one at the bottom and it has one at the top as well and so in this car there's a lot of storage so if you're traveling long distance the spaciousness, you know, the seats are very comfortable and the storage, uh, you know that you are okay. I could travel from here to Brimfontein in this car with no worries of space or, or, or petrol because it's a one liter, you understand? And uh, the sound system, proper. So the only thing that I don't like, as I said, is the road noise. So that, I, that yeah, no. I don't agree with that. So let's go to the things that I like and things that I don't like. Or oh, maybe did we already pass that? Okay, my shop. Um, would I would I consider the car? Would I recommend it? Would I buy it? Definitely, all of them. I would. Yes, 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 yes. I would buy it. I'd recommend it, and I'd consider it to anybody. The driving modes digital dashboard the dimming how you can control the dimming also on the infotainment system that is props Reynolds this car oh my gosh this is wow anyways this has been your boy Sassy Wolf from reviews and wheels so if you made it this far to the video please do subscribe like comment and share so for us to keep on getting more content from to create more content for you guys we need to you guys need to help me help you get me so by you guys helping me i help you because the more you guys share and retweet and subscribe i can get more of these cars and give more reviews for you first time car buyers you know looking for an upgrade in certain cars looking for certain things in the car i can provide that to you so please do subscribe like comment and share this is your boy saucy wolf and this is the riddle kaiga 1.0 manual transmission turbo intense and that's love from me
What's up guys, it's your boy Dumeleng Oaheng Alice and as you might have seen I was invited out by Reviews and Reels to come test out the new Renault Kaiga and I must say that was one hell of a ride, you know. Um, if I could pick out one of my favorite features about the car was the transitioning from the normal mode to the sports mode, you know, as you can actually feel it physically, you know, in your body. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Hello, hi, I go by the name of Bontle and I'll be telling you about my experience with the new Renault Kaiga. When I first saw this car, I was literally amazed with how it looked on the outside. And when I got inside, I was just more amazed actually, because it has a lot of space inside and it's very comfortable. And you know, that's one thing you look for in a car, a very comfortable car, which it is. And I would, it's a car that I, would, I wouldn't mind buying for my. I'm Garabo and you can find me on socials, add value for him. Now, my experiences about the Renault Kaiga have to be very, very, very positive. Firstly, the car is very smooth when it comes to handling. Secondly, the takeoff is quite crazy. Um, The color too is beautiful. The blue, hmm, did you see it? Did, did you see it? In the basement parking, did you see it? Hmm. Very easy to spot, I must say. The eyes, hmm, nice. Um, Although, disadvantage-wise, the seats at the back aren't as comfortable as they could be for an SUV. Not recommended for like road trip wise um to be seated for like a long time because then in <laughs> um, yeah so what i would say rate out of 10 i'd give it an eight positively only because of a few of things they need to fix in the car you know requirements wise the boot is quite spacious could carry like a whole cow um yeah that's what i have for you thank you very much